Classification of Fundamental Rights Articles 12 to 35 of the Constitution deal with fundamental rights. These rights are grouped together under the following six categories. Right to Equality, Articles 14 to 18 Right to Freedom, Articles 19 to 22 Right Against Exploitation, Articles 23 and 24 Right to Freedom of Religion, Articles 25 to 28 Cultural and Educational Rights, Articles 29 and 30 Rights to Constitutional Remedies, Articles 32 Right to Equality, Article 14 to 18 It guarantees to all persons, citizens and others, equality before law and equal protection of law. It means that the laws apply in the same manner to all, regardless of a person's status. This is called the rule of law. It makes no distinction between them on the basis of religion, race, caste, sex and place of birth. Right to Freedom, Articles 19 to 22 The Article 19 gives six fundamental freedoms which are given below. Freedom of speech and expression. Freedom to assemble peacefully and without arms. Freedom to form association or unions. Freedom of movement throughout India. Freedom to reside and settle in any part of India. Freedom to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation. Limitations on Freedoms, Article 19 The freedom of speech and expression does not mean that one can abuse another person, indulge in spreading rumours, speak lies, spread immorality, or for jeopardising the safety and integrity of India, or for inciting violence. The freedom to assemble and hold public meetings does not mean that one can carry arms or disturb public peace or pose a danger to peace and integrity of India. As citizens, we have the freedom to travel to any part of the country. The same freedom extends to choice of occupations. No one can force you to do or not to do a certain job. Protections in case of conviction for an offence, Article 20 No person can be punished except for the violation of law, nor can he be awarded a greater penalty than what is prescribed under law. No person can be prosecuted or punished for the same offence more than once. No person accused of an offence shall be compelled to be a witness against himself. Protection of Life and Personal Liberty Article 21 Article 21 lays down that no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except through a procedure established by law. Rights of Persons Arrested Under Ordinary Circumstances Article 22 No person can be detained in custody without being told of the ground for such an arrest. Such a person shall have the right to be defended by a lawyer of his choice. Every arrested person must be produced before the nearest magistrate within 24 hours of such arrest. Preventive Detention Act Preventive Detention Act is detention without trial so that a person may be stopped from committing a crime. Such a person who is detained under Preventive Detention Act can be detained for three months, now two months, after 44th Amendment, 1978, without trial. The detainee has the rights to know the grounds on which he has been detained and the right to make a representation against his detention as early as possible. Right Against Exploitation, Articles 23 and 24 the Constitution makes two main declarations, right against exploitation, which are as under. Prohibition of traffic in human beings and forced labour, Article 23. 
under this traffic in human beings and beggar or any other form of forced labor is prohibited this means that sale and purchase of women men and children and making a person work against his will without payment is banned prohibition of employment of children in factories article 24 No child below the age of 14 years shall be employed in a factory or mine and in other hazardous work. Thus, child labor is banned because this is considered as exploitation and as such it is illegal. Right to freedom of religion, articles 25 to 28. Right to freedom of religion provides religious freedom to all the citizens of India. all religions are equal before the state and no religion will be given preference over the other foremost objective of this right is to sustain the principle of secularism in the country secularism is based on the idea that the state is concerned only with relations among human beings and not with the relation between human beings and god every religious group or sect is free to manage its religious affairs a right to propagate one's religion however does not mean that a person has right to compel another person to convert into his or her religion by means of force fraud inducement or allurement of course a person is free to change religion on his or her own will cultural and educational rights article 29 and 30 right to conserve the language script and culture article 29 under this right minorities have the right to conserve their distinct language script or culture and to join state owned or state aided institutions without discriminations right to establish educational institutions article 30 under this each minority group has a right to establish and administer educational institutions of its choice the state shall not discriminate between minorities while granting aid to their educational institutions right to constitutional remedies article 32 The fundamental rights provided by our constitution are important because they are enforceable. These rights are enforced through right to constitutional remedies. It is possible that sometimes our rights may be violated by fellow citizens, private bodies, or by the government. When any of our right is violated, we can seek remedy through courts. If it is a fundamental right, we can directly approach the supreme court or the high court of a state fundamental rights are guaranteed against the actions of the legislatures the executive and any other authorities instituted by the government